this is Frank Abrazino with the Scoob News. Retirees, guess what? You have a unique opportunity here in Sarasota, and that's because of our quality of life, our low cost of living, and all that good stuff. And it puts us on the U.S. News uh, top place to retire in, best places, the best places in, to retire in in 2018. And I think it was, I don't was it Venice or Sarasota or the county last time? But they got this new one out, and they looked at 100 of the largest metropolitans out there. They looked at data from housing affordability. I know, I'm thinking, housing affordability in Sarasota? Desirability? Well, that's there. Happiness? That's there. I'm, I'm pretty happy. Taxes? Ugh, I don't know about that. The job market? Pretty good job market. Access to top quality hospitals? Yeah, I mean, we got some good hospitals here. Uh... And so that's the criteria that they looked at, and they looked at it for people that are 45 or older. And they said largely the top 10 places were largely there due to affordable housing. The low taxes, too, and the happiness. Those are the primary drivers that place the top 10 where they are. And Sarasota, guess what? Finished number one. Uh, basically, they came up and said, you know, look, they're recovering from Irma, but things are still good there. They have miles of sandy beaches, the number one beach, Siesta Key. Um, they said, for some reason, they named the home of Sarasota School of Architecture as a mini example of uh, something good about them. I've never even heard about them. Their health care, they said, is phenomenal. And they mentioned Sarasota Memorial and Doctors Hospital in Sarasota. Uh, they talked about the ballet, the opera. Um, big city amenities aren't usually affordable, but in Sarasota, they say, it's it's nice. It's good. And the average cost of the home, guess what? They put it at $226,000 here in the state of, in Sarasota. I got I don't know if that's accurate there, man. I don't, I mean, I don't know if that's accurate. I think they're taking everything into consideration, but that's a little low for Sarasota. Um, they said the added value, value is that Florida is a no state, no state income tax state. So, uh, U.S. News putting Sarasota up there at the number one spot out of 100 of the largest metropolitans as the number one spot to retire in 2018. Some will view that as good. Others will say, "Ay, boy, more congestion." This has been Frankie Abrazino with the Scoop News.